Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to my kitchen, or welcome if you are new. I am Denise, and tonight for dinner, I am making cowboy spaghetti. So in this pan here, I'm going to bring a pot of water to a boil for the spaghetti. And in here, I need to fry up eight pieces of bacon. So I'm just going to cut it up with my kitchen shears and get it fried up. Okay, I'm just gonna get this fried up until it's crispy. I'll bring you back for the next step. Okay, my water's boiling, so I'm gonna add 12 ounces of spaghetti. I'm going to set my timer for nine minutes. My bacon is cooked, so I'm going to remove it onto this paper towel lined plate. I want to keep the fat in here. It's only about a tablespoon's worth. Okay, now I'm going to fry up a pound of hamburger. pasta stirred into the water. Okay, now that my hamburger is close to being done, I'm going to add a tablespoon of minced garlic. I'm going to break out my new jar. All right. Now I need a cup of onion. About what I have here. Fry this until the hamburger is no longer pink. And I'm going to add the bacon back to this. I'm going to preheat my oven to 400 degrees. Oops. I'm going to make some of my semi homemade garlic bread. A couple more minutes. I need a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce and a 10 ounce can of drained rotel. And then I need a half a cup of barbecue sauce. And we like our sweet baby rays.
Okay, this hamburger mixture is done. So now I'm going to add the tomato sauce. And the rotel. My pasta is done. So I'm going to drain it. And I rinse that with cold water. I'm going to leave it sit in the sink. Now I'm adding the barbecue sauce. Give this a stir. Put the pasta in here. Give this a good stir. I'm going to turn this on low and leave it sit here until my garlic bread is done. This is the bread that I make out of a loaf of pre-sliced French bread that I get at Walmart. And I just put garlic butter on there. And I shred mozzarella cheese. Put that on it. And a little bit of Italian seasoning. So, when this gets all done, I'll bring you back when we plate up. Alright, my garlic bread is close to being done. I forgot the most important part. I'm going to add shredded mozzarella, cheese, about three quarters of a cup. And about three quarters of a cup of shredded cheddar. I just took this out of the freezer. I forgot I had to add this cheese. Okay, I'm going to put the lid on this and let it melt. And now I will bring you back when we plate up. Okay, friends, our dinner is ready. Semi-homemade garlic toast. And cowboy spaghetti. I have made this before on my channel, and it's worth repeating because this stuff is really good. And normally I do half the recipe, but since we are really into our leftover Thursdays, I made the whole recipe. And I recommend it. I'll have it linked for you below in the description box. And here is our dinner tonight. Cowboy spaghetti and semi-homemade garlic toast. We'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon friends. Welcome back to my kitchen. Tonight I am making a homemade tomato soup. So in here I'm going to heat three tablespoons of olive oil. Here I have chicken broth. I have four cups of hot water and two Knorr chicken cubes. And I'm going to saute one large onion. I'm 
that looks like about a large one. Okay, my onions have cooked till they're soft. And I'm going to add salt and pepper. And a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. Just a little bit, maybe a quarter teaspoon. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of minced garlic. Now I'm going to add a 28 ounce can of undrained whole tomatoes. And a 14 and a half ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes. And four cups of my chicken broth. Now I'm going to turn the heat up to high and bring it to a boil and then I'm going to turn it down to low and simmer it for about 20 minutes and then I'm going to take the immersion blender after it so I'll bring you back in about 20 minutes Okay, I forgot to add some other spices. I need one tablespoon of oregano. And it says a half a teaspoon of dried basil, but I'm gonna put more than that in here. Maybe a half a tablespoon. That sounds better. Okay, now when this comes to a boil, I'll turn it down and simmer it for 20 minutes. So I'll bring you back now in 20 minutes. Okay, friends, the tomato soup has been simmering for 20 minutes. I shut the burner off. Now I'm going to take my immersion blender after it, get it smooth. I'm going to check to see if we have any big tomatoes in there yet. And it does not look like it. Very good.
Now I'm going to add in three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm going to put the lid on it, let it sit here and warm up with that uh, heavy whipping cream in there. My burner is off, but the residual heat will help with that. Now I'm going to grill us up some grilled cheese sandwiches. I already put butter on one side of the bread. They're cut funny because it's homemade bread. I have to work on that skill before I share any homemade bread making with you. look the best but it is uh, plenty good spent the freezer about an hour ago so trying to slice it didn't work very well either okay I'm just gonna get three, these grilled up and then I'll bring you back when we dish up Okay, friends, our grilled cheese sandwiches are done. Put all these on a plate. There's our grilled cheese. And homemade tomato soup. I have made this soup before and it is absolutely fabulous. I recommend this. My husband likes eating soup like this in a cup. I like mine in a bowl. And there you have it, grilled cheese sandwich and homemade tomato soup. We'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, friends. Happy Sunday. Tonight, I am frying us up some pollock fillets. In here, I have vegetable, all vegetable shortening. All heated up, ready to go. In here I have flour, salt, and pepper. Gonna give these a good coating. And I have a pan of Arby fries in the oven. My husband's been hungry for those. can't quite fit them all in there. So while these fillets are frying up, I'm going to make me some tartar sauce. I'm going to put some mayonnaise in here. Probably a quarter quarter cup. And some dill relish. Of a tablespoon or a teaspoon, I should say, with some juice. And I need to mince up some onion. All the tablespoons worth or so. 
Okay, I'm just going to set this in the fridge until the fillets are fried up and the Arby fries are done. And I will bring you back when we play it up. Okay friends, our first batch of fish is done. So I'm going to lay it out on this paper towel lined plate. And our fries are done. going to get this last piece of fish in the flour so that can go in the frying pan while we eat. Okay. Arby fries, these are good. on the table. I added a little bit of black pepper to it. There's my homemade tartar sauce. And we're going to have some of my refrigerated pickles that I made yesterday. Or no, I made these Friday. them on there on my plate with a couple onions. This is our dinner tonight. Fried Pollock, Arby fries, and refrigerated pickles. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you on the next one. Bye!